Sideline Assessment of Concussion. A 17-year-old football player's head hits the turf after a hard tackle. He takes longer than normal to get up and appears dazed momentarily. He comes to the sideline saying that he feels fine and he wants to get back in the game. Concerned about a possible concussion, you recommend further evaluation. The game is close and the coach wants to get his star running back on the field as soon as possible. What evaluations can help determine if the athlete is okay to return? The sideline concussion evaluation is not intended to definitively diagnose a concussion, but to quickly determine if the player is safe for immediate return to play. The evaluation should focus on presence of symptoms and key components of the neurologic exam, including cognition, balance, and vestibular ocular screening. Concussion signs and symptoms can evolve over time, so reevaluation may be necessary. Red flags that should prompt emergency department evaluation include prolonged loss of consciousness, persistent vomiting, focal symptoms, seizure, neck tenderness, or rapidly worsening symptoms. The Sport Concussion Assessment Tool, 5th Edition, or SCAT-5, is a widely accepted tool for sideline assessment. It includes a 22-item symptom severity checklist and a brief neurologic examination that includes assessment of cognition and balance. The cognitive component includes assessment of orientation, immediate and delayed memory, and the ability to recall digits and months in reverse order. Additionally, the SCAT-5 includes assessment of reading, neck range of motion, eye movements, finger to nose, tandem gait, and the modified balance error scoring system, or MBES which tests balance in double leg, single leg, and tandem stance. A total score is calculated for all components of the SCAT-5. The test can be completed in 5 to 10 minutes, and if available, a baseline exam can be used for comparison. Other testing that should be considered includes the evaluation of smooth pursuit movements, saccades, vestibular ocular reflex, visual motion sensitivity, and convergence. Reaction time testing may also aid in evaluation. A number of commercially available devices are available to help administer and or interpret portions of these examinations, but the clinical exam remains the most widely accepted tool for evaluation. An athlete should only return to play on the same day if the possibility of a concussion has been completely ruled out. A cautious, conservative approach should be taken with youth athletes in particular with removal from play for any reported symptom, exam abnormality, or exacerbation of symptoms during the exam. Important components of the sideline concussion assessment include asking the athlete about concussion symptoms followed by examination of cognitive, balance, and vestibular ocular function. The SCAT-5 is among the most well-studied sideline assessment tools. There are several other tools available that may aid in decision-making. The immediate evaluation of an athlete should focus on making a go, no-go decision for returning to the game. For more information on sideline management of concussion, including recommendations for evaluation and management of concussions in the clinic setting, please see the course resources.